Nickelodeon All-Star Ball. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Did we really need another fighting game with Brawl in the name? Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is a platform fighting game developed by Ludosity and Fairplay Labs and published by Game Mill Entertainment for every major gaming platform today, including PC. Featuring many recognizable characters from various Nickelodeon shows, the gameplay closely resembles Nintendo's Super Smash Bros. Having played Super Smash Bros growing up and lots of Brawlhalla recently, I was immediately interested in this game when it was announced, and so I'm reviewing it for those of you who may want to know if it's good or not before dropping money on the purchase. Before we get into the gameplay, let's take a look at the starting cast of characters to choose from in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Featuring 20 playable characters from 13 different Nickelodeon series, there's sure to be many characters that you recognize if you've ever watched cartoons. Here's a list of all the characters and which series they are from. Oblina from Ah Real Monsters. Aang and Toph Beifong from Avatar The Last Airbender. Catdog from Catdog. Danny Phantom from Danny Phantom. Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. Zim from Invader Zim, Korra from The Legend of Korra, Lincoln Loud and Lucy Loud from The Loud House, Reptar from Rugrats, SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick Star, and Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob SquarePants, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nigel Thornberry from The Wild Thornberries. Ren and Stimpy, and Powder Toast Man from The Ren and Stimpy Show. There's also many DLC characters planned for future releases as well, so definitely be sure to subscribe if you want to see my videos covering the new releases. Now let's talk about the gameplay. After playing the game for a couple hours, I think the gameplay is pretty solid. The game plays and feels much more like Super Smash Bros. than it does like Brawlhalla, for better or worse, that's up to you to decide. Uh, the characters all have different attacks and special moves that suit their personalities. Each character has light attacks, strong attacks, and special attacks. You also have different attacks if you're running or in the air, and you can also grab and throw enemies. There isn't any items that spawn for you to use, so you just have to rely on your fighting skills to knock your opponent off the stage three times to get a win. You can battle it out on one of 20 different stages in both offline or online multiplayer. However, crossplay is not available at the time of release, so be sure to buy the game on the same platform as the rest of your friends if playing with them is important. As far as offline modes go, you have your classic battle with stock or time modes, you have a training mode, you have a sports mode where you try to hit a ball into a goal to get points and win, and there's an arcade mode which has you go through several fights and has a best time score for each character. But I will say there's no voice acting really in this game which is unfortunate because so many of these iconic characters have iconic voices you just don't get to hear in this game. Also, I highly recommend checking out the moves section for whatever character you plan on playing to see exactly what kind of button presses do what. For online play, you can do either competitive play, quick play, or online lobbies where you can create custom rules for matches. I found the online play to be relatively smooth, with some games feeling great, others feeling a bit laggy. Coming from Brawlhalla, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl feels laggy much more often. This could be due to servers just being heavy during the launch day that I played, but overall the online wasn't that bad, and honestly I had a much better experience playing online in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl than I ever did in Smash Bros Ultimate.
Final impressions. I played at least one game with every character so far, and they all felt unique and interesting. I think I enjoyed Leonardo the most, but it was super fun playing as Toph, or Zim, and so many other characters I grew up watching on TV. The stages you fight on were also surprisingly good looking and cool. For instance, playing in Omashu and the Western Air Temple from Avatar was awesome. The music in the game is upbeat and enjoyable to listen to, but the fighting sound effects feel cheap and annoying in comparison. If this game didn't have an all-star cast of crossovers, it wouldn't be anything special. But just another Smash Bros clone, really. However, the cast of characters is simply amazing, giving the game enough strength to justify its existence, and with many future DLC characters planned, I think it will be a very successful game, at least financially. The music is good, the stages are good, the combat feels pretty good. Is this game going to end up like PlayStation Battle Royale where it's pretty cool, has great characters, but then kind of fades into forgottenness? Or is it going to be more like Brawlhalla or Super Smash Bros where it becomes mainstream and more widely adopted? Only time will tell. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is out now on every major gaming platform. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and be sure to subscribe for more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl content and as well as other fighting games. Let me know who your favorite crossover is in this game in the comments below. As always guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video.